If we don't understand our Constitution and we don't believe in it and we don't fight to preserve it, uh, then we will lose uh, the nation that we've come to love. In 1983, I was severely wounded by uh, a 50 cal. Uh, I was hit in the chest and up through my shoulder and as I lay in bed watching uh, the news, I was really questioning whether it was worth the sacrifice, whether living the rest of my life with, uh, with only one arm was really worth it. The uh, CNN camera crew found an old snaggletooth lady from Grenada, and they said, what do you think about this U.S. invasion of your country? And the old lady said, God bless Ronald Reagan and God bless America. That's all I needed. I knew it was worth it. I'm a conservative. Uh, I'm a Christian. I'm, in fact, I'm an ordained minister uh, now that I've retired from the military. This is certainly the most critical election in my lifetime. I believe it's the most critical election in our history. And I encourage everybody, everywhere I speak, everybody I come in contact with, to study the issues, get informed, and vote. I think America is grossly divided today. How does our land heal? How do we bring that back together? I believe that the Bible gives us that solution when it says in 2 Chronicles that our land will be healed, but we have to come before God and submit ourselves to His authority, recognizing that He created this country, He inspired the founders, and He has given us great favor, and I think that it is time for America to heal by turning back to an almighty and a sovereign God that has given us life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.